Hello, in this Vulcan video, we are going to be continuing with drawing a triangle with the presentation part of it, and we are going to be implementing a swap chain. So what is a swap chain? By default, there aren't any sort of like buffers built into Vulcan. So we need to implement this essentially to sync the presentation of the content on the surface on the screen to the refresh to the refresh rate of the monitor so that's what we're going to be doing here so we're going to put a new hash include so hash algorithm so hash include algorithm and next what we're going to do is if we scroll down ah oh here so it's just over here the validation layer if we just copy and paste this we need another one that's very similar. So we need the device extension vector. It's going to be essentially the same except for the name. It's going to be called device extensions. Device extensions. And we can just put a hash define here that's already been defined in Vulkan. And that is VK underscore KHR underscore swap chain extension name. Okay. So now that we've got that done, we want to go and add another struct down here. And we're going to say struct swap chain support details. And in here, we're going to say VK surface capabilities KHR. And we're going to name this capabilities capabilities. And we're going to create a vector of VK surface formats. So vector VK surface format KHR um, formats. Then we're going to create another vector. Of VK present mode KHR. And we're going to call this present mode modes okay so now that we got that there should be no errors we're going to add a few more variables down here for to be precise so these are going to be our swap chain variables so we we'll say vk swap chain x now khr and we're going to name it swap chain and then we're going to have a vector of vk images so vector vk Okay, there it is. For some reason, IntelliSense was not picking it up. We're going to call it swap chain images. Uh, VK format underscore swap chain image format. And then we're going to have a VK extent 2D. So VK extent 2D underscore swap chain extent. Okay, so now that we've got that, in the init Vulkan method, we need to initialize the swap chain as well. So it's going to say create swap chain. We'll be implementing this momentarily, but we are going to be calling it here. We need to do a bit of cleanup. So if we go to cleanup, and right at the start, we're going to say vk destroy surface khr and we're going to provide the device and then the swap chain and then any option optional callbacks as well for us we're going to put no pointer we don't want any and do, 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 do. Ah, not surface destroy swap chain there we go error should disappear make sure this happens before you destroy the device you clean up that stuff because this requires the device and it won't work properly if the device is already being cleaned up so again that's just something to bear in mind and now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to our create logical device method create logical device method 
and if we go to where we got p enabled features we want to replace the so after this the create in a dot enabled extension count and we want to replace this with instead of zero we're going to assign it to so here we're going to get our device extensions static cast unsigned int device extensions dot size and we're going to say create info dot pp enabled extension name equals device and we'll get the data from extensions like so okay so now that we've done that we're going to be adding a bunch of methods because there's a lot of code here that we're going to be adding what i'm going to do because this is this is based on feedback that i've had from viewers that like when there's a huge amount of code sometimes just you know paste it in and essentially just talk about it so just writing every single line so because when i'm implementing the create swap chain method that's going to be linking in with other methods that we'll need that will i'll just copy and paste in and i'll you know i'll talk about it okay so what we are going to do is go to github vulcan tutorials let's go to code drawing a triangle presentation swap chain vulcan tutorial and go to main.cpp scroll down and i'll nicely put it so you can see all the new code that has actually been added and you don't have to think you know is there any new code here because unless it's wrapped in these you know comments you don't need to worry about it so just scroll down to here we go so this is all the stuff we want as you can see it's a lot of stuff hence why i'm gonna copy and paste it and the is device suitable is also getting modified so we'll be replacing that so to copy that so we want to take it to just before find q families so if we go down to here so we get rid of that paste that in this code is complete through so the source code online it will use it as is completed my update that and where are we okay so the first method we've got is the create swap chain so this allows us to create that swap chain like i said it doesn't have default buffers so it doesn't sync the refresh rate of the monitor to the presentation of the content so it's we're just creating surface formats presentation modes and ex extents and we're just choosing the different formats and the modes so we are also just you know getting the images because essentially each frame is effectively an image as well we're checking the graphics family and we're doing any clipping that is required then this obviously just links in with these methods so when we need to choose a swap surface format which we did over here over here you'll check it all throughout here and same for the choose swap present mode the choose swap extent as well so it's all pretty simple stuff nothing too complex and then when they query the swap chain if to see if it's even supported all of that is checked in here and it is device suitable it's just been updated to factor in checking for swap chain support that's really it so if you have any questions, feel free to, actually I need to run it first. We're not done yet until we've run the bad boy. As long as it doesn't crash, we're all good to go. Obviously there's a lot of extensions loaded. You get a little validation error, that's just to do with anisotropic filtering. We can ignore that. That's not really an issue for us at the moment. And we are done. So it's like I was saying, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Over four and a half thousand, I think probably four thousand six hundred members now, and there's a Vulcan channel, so feel free to check that out. There's a link in the description to the to the GitHub page, which I showed you, where you can get the source code for all of this code that we put in here, and just in general, you can check out all the videos source code. So that's it. I look forward to seeing you in the next Vulcan video. Have a good day.